Hey, sweeties, how you doing? All right, today we are gonna work on our step up to writing. You should have this rough draft page. The teachers uh, emailed it to all your parents, and we also put it in RenWeb, okay? And I believe we told everyone last week that this is what we're gonna do on Friday, or excuse me, Tuesday, sorry. All right, so if you could get this page out, that would be awesome. Also get out your T-chart that we worked on yesterday and get out your journal, all right? Also, I would get a pencil. Well, you're gonna need a pencil for sure, okay? Make sure you have a pencil, all right? I'm gonna go sit down at my desk. I'll be right with you. Okay, here we go. So we had our T-charts. We kind of did our little brainstorming thing right here. Now go to page one. I did, and I kind of already started. I kind of did some starting with it already. And what we're gonna do for our first sentence, okay? Let's do our first sentence. And on number on the first, it says, we talk, I was gonna put, I was gonna talk about my large purple and brown and hard shell. Okay, so that's that's what I'm gonna write about. So that's what I did. Okay, I got my my paper out and I underlined the ground beetle's body has large, hard purple and brown shell. Okay, so that's my first line. I'm going to do that one. Turn the page. Okay, look at your T-chart also. Your T-chart, I guess, is talking about what does it live in. Well, if you look at your page, page two, okay, it says, um, my insect lives in gardens. So I'm going to underline that. And my, um, you might have a little more than just gardens because this doesn't say too much. I mean, it says it lives in gardens. I, maybe I'd look that up and see if I could put a little bit more. Maybe it lives in forests also, who knows? So I might do that, but you know, put down where it is found, what does it, you know, where does it live? Perfect. Okay. Now look at my T-chart again, <clears throat> excuse me. Then I put then, predator. So this must be, you know, Describe if it's, a, if it's prey or predator, all right? Remember we said a predator is the one that goes after. He's the hunter. He hunts them, and prey is being the one that's hunted. Oh. So it eats slugs and other things. Okay, so I'm going to put, I'm going to underline the ground beetle is a predator. I'm going to erase this right here. I was kind of fooling around with it. He's a predator. And some of his favorite foods are worms, slugs, and other beetles. Okay, so I've underlined that. Don't worry about this guy. Okay, so that kind of tells you he's a predator and what he eats, because that's what they're asking for. All right, that's what I want to put in my uh, paragraph. All right, number four. Now, boys and girls, you know what? If this is going too fast, stop the video. Stop the video and take your time. This doesn't have to be all in one day. I'm gonna kinda of do it in one day, but you know what, you don't have to do it in one day. I don't want you to think, oh my gosh, I don't have this done. It's okay, it's all right, okay? So don't worry about it. Day four, my T-chart, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, what else, why is it important? So that's what my other T-chart says is, finally, why is it important? Or is it important? So I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. I still don't know why an ant is important. I'm still trying to figure that out. Maybe when I get to heaven, I'm going to say, Lord, why? Why ants? And he'll end up telling me. So this is what we're going to do. So you go to your fourth page. And I've got the ground beetle is important because it eats other bugs that ruin plants in a garden. Okay. I'm not going to end up writing all this on my rough draft, and I'll show you when we do when in a minute when we do that. Okay, so let me take some time. Which do you think is it helpful? Maybe it's not helpful. You know, if you had an aphid, you'd say an aphid is not important because it eats all plants and you know crops that grow so it may not be important farmers love the ladybug because it will eat those aphids they don't like aphids 
and people that have gardens, they go and get ladybugs. So those ladybugs will eat their aphids. Okay. All right. So by now, you should have underlined this. And again, it doesn't, you know, if this is taking you a while, that's okay. Do you know what, sweeties? Usually you've got a teacher walking around the room helping you decide what to underline. And I bet you have mom and dad, awesome. But that's just it. We all need help doing this. So I don't want you to think this all has to be done all in one sitting. Okay? All right. So now, would you get out your rough draft paper? Okay? I'm going to put my T-chart away because I really don't need, well, I don't know. You might need it because you've got, remember, your first, next, then, and finally. Big deal to remember that. But the lovely thing is, is on our rough draft, look, first, next, then, and finally. Awesome sauce. Okay, are you ready? All right. Well, you know what? Just for grins, because I might forget, and I have a couple of my favorite people in my class that do forget. I'm not going to name names. Hmm. But I'm going to put that just to remind me that I have got to make the first, next, then, and finally. Okay? Really don't need to color these, but since they're there, well, we know it. Okay? So, here we go with our rough draft. These are all the different processes you're going when you are writing. You know, the more <clears throat> sixth grade, fifth grade, all those grades have you going through this process, okay? I had to go through this process. So, we have a rough draft paper. We have our topic sentence. I know four interesting facts about the, okay? So, I'm just gonna write ground beetle right here. You don't have to write it. You know what yours is if you don't want to. All right, ground beetle. Don't write ground beetle, that's not your guy. Okay, ready? Okay, day one, first. Okay, <clears throat> well here we are. So first, now I want, I want you to look on first. First is beginning my, my sentence with a comma. And since this is the beginning of the sentence, over here you're not writing with a capital letter unless your insect may have a capital letter. But mine's not gonna have a capital letter, okay? So, first, I'm going to write. Now, sweeties, sorry to say, there is not a lot of space. Totally get it, I totally understand, okay? So either write small, so you can get it on there and super neat, or, you can always get another piece of paper and write it, okay? My class is used to having the little newsprint with the lines on it. My class is used to doing that. So if you're used to that and you need another paper, go get one, all right? If it doesn't all fit on here, totally get it. Go get a piece of paper that will all fit, okay? All right, so I'm gonna start writing this. The, I may not even have enough room. The ground beetles body. I'm just going to write what Mrs. Lucio said because that's pretty much what I'm going to write. Has. Now find yours. Find your sentence that you're going to put on there and you can start writing this. A large comma. I'm putting commas between these because I'm making a list of what he looks like. Hard, purple, and brown shell. Okay. Now, if you want, that's a period. Now, if you want to put another sentence about your guy, your insect, that's fine, okay? That is not a problem. You could always add, if you want, you know, down here, if I wanted to, like I said, if I want to, I could also say he also has 
black eyes, two antennae, and six legs, but you know what? That sounds like all insects, right? So I just want to write something about my insect, okay? I know, sorry guys, my, my printing isn't always great, especially when I'm writing quick. All right, so I've done that. So I'm gonna go to number two. Now I'm sorry to say I did not look up to see what else my insect could live. It says my insect loves gardens. Hmm. Well, I'm just gonna do that. Now, can I show you something? And I've been trying to teach my class this. My sentence has first the ground beetle, okay? So now we're gonna write next. I don't wanna say the ground beetle again. I don't wanna say first the ground beetle, next the ground beetle, then the ground beetle, finally the ground beetle. Uh, it sounds a little boring. So what I'm going to do, I like this. Next, my insect, now remember, this is the beginning of my sentence, okay? This is the beginning of my sentence. So right here, my next line, my next letter is not gonna be a capital letter, okay? So I'm going to put, I'm gonna start with my, I'll try and write lots neater, my insect loves Okay, you can put he lives in gardens, okay? I know I didn't get a chance to look up and see where else, maybe I'll do that next time, see what else I can maybe find. Because that's just it, your insect may live in a couple of places. You might find them in uh, the rainforest or, oh gosh, the rainforest, up in the mountains somewhere, so you're, your insect might be found in a couple of places and write that down, okay? Then, okay, so we've done date, this is one, two, so let's go to the third page, three. Okay, this is where I'm kind of changing it, I think, a little. Okay, we're writing, because my T-chart said that we're writing about the predator. Okay, so this is what I think I'm gonna do. Um, Okay, I think I'm gonna write, I guess the ground beetle is a predator. All right, I'm gonna start the ground beetle again. I know I said try and mix it up a little. Then, I'm gonna write the ground beetle. I'm gonna change this a little. The ground I'm going to put a period, okay? Because I, you can add, you want to maybe add something to this. He's a predator, but I also want to say what he eats. So, you know, you could put like the ladybug. The ladybug is a predator, period. Okay? He eats aphids. So I'm going to put down, the grandma is a predator. I'm going to put it, all right? Because it is an it. It's an insect. It eats worms, comma, because I'm making a list of what he eats, slugs, Sorry about that period right there. I'm gonna put and other beetles. Gross me out. Other Okay. Yeah, I two sentences, but you know it's okay. And you can do that too, if you'd like. Okay. All right, next, finally, all right, finally, what is it important or not? 
finally. Okay, well, I'm going to get my paper here, kind of see what it says. I think I lost. Oh, here it is. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Well, I don't want to start the ground beetle. Um, maybe I'm going to say it again. I guess I got that ground beetle, my insect, the ground beetle, finally. Maybe write my insect again. Okay. Up to you, totally up to you. Finally, I'm gonna write my insect, my insect is important because It eats other bugs. See, I'm even getting a little long. Other bugs that ruin plants. Oh dear, look at me. I almost plants. In a garden. So he must eat aphids also. All right. Okay. Now, our last one, our little green guy here. Now remember, what would, look at our T chart. So, this ends a little different than what our T-chart did, right? So I'll tell you, you can use either one. You can write, it was very fascinating learning about the ground beetle, or you can put studying about the ground beetle has been either cool, it's been fascinating, it's been awesome. This is all up to you. You get to choose which one of these you wanna do. Okay, terrific. Now, I have another choice for you. Okay, so once you have this done, once you have it done, awesome. I want you to check the spelling and you have a choice. You can either have your mom and dad take a picture of it and send it to your teacher and we can go through it and fix anything for you, any of your spelling, or Mom and dad can look at it and fix any of your spelling, okay? That S looks like a capital S, doesn't it? I don't want that as a capital S, I want a small S. So those are your two choices. You can either send it to your teacher and they will correct it for you. And then you need to send it back or send a picture of it back to me or I'll send a picture back to you, okay? Or again, the easiest way I think would be have mom and dad look Make sure it, it's all written correctly, okay? And then, got it? So you make a choice of what you wanna do. Now, when you're done, let's just have that be your thing right now, is just getting this completed, having mom and dad fix anything that needs to be fixed, and then you can fix it, okay? And then tomorrow, we will, we will start on our final draft. All right, I know this was a lot, you guys. I totally understand. But you know what? Don't worry about it. You've got time. Don't freak out. You're doing a great job. All right? So, but again, if you want mom and dad to check it, great. If you want your teacher to check it, then have them take a picture and send it to your teacher. We will look at it and fix what other needs, whatever needs to be fixed, and we'll mail it back to you. All right, loveys. All right, sweeties. Well, we will see you tomorrow. All righty. Bye-bye.